Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hey guys, eh, this whole my pregnancy thing, you know, you know, easy. Like this video, I've been saying I'm going to make this video. Procrastination is bad. See, this pregnancy is making me so lazy. Ah, me, I'm not. I'm not usually lazy. I'm not usually lazy, but this pregnancy is just making me lazy. I've been saying I'll shoot this video. I'll make this video. I'll make this video. Anyways, finally, I just decided. So let me just do this video because something i really want to talk about i just want to talk about marriage and as in just in general you know people talk about the sweet part of marriage nobody tells you how difficult marriage is nobody i don't i feel like sometimes they should educate us and tell us see marriage is hard though this will happen no that will happen no and then let's just be aware that okay this i expected these things like this i expected so when they not happen you'll not be like oh my god why is it happening to me oh i married the wrong person me i've been married for this year will make it nine years yes nine years for our tribe my third anniversary is that i'll be nine years fully nine years married by next week jeez how did i forget i i, I know i got married easter it was on an easter tuesday and then it was like i think second of april or something like that so anyways next week it's going to be anniversary so yay so now i've been married for nine years and see marriage has humbled me marriage has changed me marriage has done a lot of things to me that things i didn't even expect marriage would do to me if you had known me before eh Anyone that knows me before I tell you that I'm a lioness. I don't take. See, who are you? If you talk, I talk. If you talk one, I'll talk hundred. If you talk two, I'll talk. I'll talk one million. They know me there. People used to be scared of me. When it's like, ah, in that guy's involved. People are like, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. I don't want to. I don't want that girl's wahala. Like that's, that's me. I love the fact that they they say it like, oh, this girl's wahala. Like it used to be nothing to me because I'm used to it. See, they know me, Sha. But anyways, that's all before marriage. And then when you're not married, you just expect to have it your way all the time. Like, oh man, I'm the wife. Oh, huh? if, if you love me, you have to do this. If you love me, you have to do that. If you don't love me, you don't have you have to do I see all those things change. All those ideas I had I, 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 ideas I had before marriage changed after marriage. Then you just realize that marriage is not like that. Some people will look at you and tell you, hey, if you're fighting too much with your husband, hey, that is it. Oh. You people, are, you people know you people cannot go forward you people can never move forward that marriage is not going to work i don't believe in all those things i don't i don't believe that i even me personally this is my own opinion by the way everybody and their own opinion you guys can come to my comment section to just tell me what you think but this is what i think i don't believe that in fact you're not fighting in your marriage or you're not arguing in your marriage doesn't mean you have the perfect marriage you know that perfect marriage idea that oh the man is doing everything he wants for you or the lady is doing everything the man wants oh they don't fight they don't quarrel they don't even exchange words they don't keep malice oh my god they're so perfect that's what we see like you know when you see that picture of the perfect marriage you know some people have that in their head that that's how their marriage should be the man should always understand the woman should always understand so at any given time like you just have to always understand each other who does that do you know marrying someone is like a stranger you met from you just met a stranger from nowhere you two people just saw and then oh your heart did ten anything and the other person has ten anything and people like oh my god i love you i love you and then you marry see when you live with your sisters your brothers you people fight always it doesn't mean you don't love them it doesn't mean they don't care about you fighting is a way of growth i don't know how people say but this is just my own opinion fighting is a way of growth you see some people they get married first one year of marriage they are like cataracts when i mean cataracts they, 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 they maybe they fought throughout that marriage that their one year and then after that one year you just realize that they don't have anything to fight about again because they finished fighting the first one year it's like they took the first one year to just understand each other you know argue about things they have to argue arguing is healthy it's not i don't believe that when you say you argue too much there's difference between excess arguing and just moderate arguing and and all that but i don't i feel that when you argue with your spouse it's not because you hate that person it's because you, you guys can't always agree on the same thing you can agree today that okay yes i want this tomorrow it might not just be i might like blue you like red and then we're supposed to paint our room what mix blue and red to get the color we want no somebody must go down for the other person sometimes you you go to social media you see some people doing lovey lovey husband and wife they will hold each other they will do this you'll be like oh my god this is the kind of marriage i want i don't say that thing see i never open my mouth and say that somebody's marriage is the kind of marriage i want i don't say it because you don't know what they're going through you're just seeing a picture of what a marriage looks like and then you'll be like oh i want that do you know what they are going through do you know okay even if you see the very very happy ones do you know what they did to be that happy like it's, it's not just seeing someone and wanting to be that person 
Why do you want to be that person? Can you do what that person did to be there? You see a man or a woman or whatever, maybe their spouse or whatever, cheating on them. And they're still there. They will tell you, don't worry, he will change or she will change. You know that that person is stupid. Some people will tell you they can't take cheating. Some people tell you it's not just cheating. No, you have cheated. I'm not sure. Like, after cheating, the person will come back. Will I leave my husband's house for another person? Most times, it's like a woman feeling that way. Like, okay, if I, if I should leave this man now. Share with like go to say my father's house. You go to Instagram, you see everybody love, 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 love. A lot of people have a lot of things to say about so many celebrities and their marriages. But I keep saying you're not in their shoes to know what they're going through. So when you see somebody and you want before you open your mouth and say, I want my marriage to be like this, ask yourself, are you sure? Do you know why their marriage is like that? If they're so happy, can you do that thing they're doing to be happy? You see a woman, maybe her husband will have a small problem, and then people are like, Hey, you're having problems with your husband. Hey. He's cheating on you. Run away. This is how it starts. This is how it will end. It's not true. All those things are processed. Like there is like a process you have to go through. It's just like you meet somebody and then people start dating. If we're going to obviously me, me and my husband, if you see the kind of fights we did, not like physical fights. Of course you beat me. Me, I will not go to that side. But my mouth was so sharp. When I mean sharp, I mean sharp. I mean he's the opposite of me. My mouth to talk, 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 talk. I, see, any small thing I'm already, I'm already talking. It's what I'll tell him, see, don't call me again, don't ever call me again, don't talk to me again. And he's this kind of person that, if you tell him don't call me again, he'll tell you, okay, no problem. You sure you wait for him to come and start begging you, Abby? No. And then, you see me, I was just like, ah, he's like, this guy does not understand that I'm angry. So it took me a lot to understand that, see, the words of the mouth, the kind of things we say with our mouth, can chase somebody away or drag someone closer. Some things we people say out of anger, sometimes they don't mean it. So I try to control myself, I, try, I tell myself, no matter how angry I am, I can't insult. I can't say abusive, like I can't use abusive words. There's some words that we don't use when we're angry. We've been married for like nine years now and there's some certain insults we don't even, we don't try it. That's the truth. So we don't use it, no matter how angry I am, because I know that I can't take it back. Once I say it, I can't take it back. Even if I come and tell you, you know I'm joking. It's just like you're fighting with somebody now, your husband, not your husband. Look at you, very, you're a very stupid man, you're mad. And then after people said to me, I'd be like, baby, you know I did not mean that stupid and mad I told you. If you tell me stupid and mad when we're fighting me, and then after we settle, you now come and tell me, Shade, no, you know, I don't, I don't mean that you're stupid and you're mad. I'll just see it like, well, you already said what you wanted to say to me, so that's how you see me. No matter how we settle, that, those, those words, they stick to your head. So that's why I try in marriage like this, I try, we try not to use such words. Express yourself the way you can when you're angry. It's normal. It's very okay for husband and wife to just say, oh, I don't want, I don't like this thing. You, you like it? No. It's very, it's normal for them to argue. It's normal for them to even keep malice. Malice is, is it's normal. You, some days you wake up, you don't talk to your husband. He'll talk to you like, beg, beg, beg. I'm not even talking to you. You just turn your face, you do your own thing. Or he'll be talking to you before me, squirrel, squirrel, like, oh, beg, beg. Who's this one? Never talking to me. It's normal. All those things, the makeup part of it is sweet. So it's normal. So people will see, so maybe you're your husband, you're always quarreling. They'll say, these people, they don't love each other. It's not true. I don't believe in all those things. I dated my husband for a very, very long time. When we're even dating, do you know how many people that told him that we cannot end up together? That me, I'm, I'm, I'm this, I'm that, I'm that, I'm that. She, we're here today now, married, with how many children. It's not by advising. I can't use what ha what's happening to me in my marriage and come and advise you on what to do. I can only tell you, Nay, see what happened, see how, what I did, though, and it worked for me. Everybody is not the same. I might say, okay, I gave my husband the goosey soup. After I finished eating the goosey soup, he now said, wow, is, it, is this is love like this? You not carry goosey soup, I can't give your husband that likes or rice soup. It will not work. So I always just tell people that this is what I do, but you might try it, it's not work for you. I try to do this, I try to do that. By the end of the day, marriage is not easy. See, this marriage is not easy. Living with a stranger is not easy. Then you not meet the, the, the families, everybody. Everybody wants to live in peace, no matter where you are. I love peace. I love peace so much. And I keep thanking God that for the family that he sent me to. Because really, I don't like Wahala, but I like Wahala. I like Wahala, but I don't like Wahala. I don't know how to put it, but... At the end of the peace of mind, is, is, it goes a long way. So please, when, when I hear people saying, Oh, this your marriage is this, this your marriage is that. Do you know the sacrifices I put in? Do you know what my husband does too? You don't, nobody knows that. You just see the picture and you're like, Oh, I want this kind of marriage. So let's try, not just saying what we want. It's trying to do things that will make us have the happy marriage. I know a lot of marriages that, yes, they're not perfect, but they're still happy. Of course they will fight now, but if you see them again, they're happy. So fighting doesn't mean that the person hates you 
Or, I don't know, your marriage is not going to work. Arguing doesn't mean anything. My marriage is not perfect, yes. But I bless and I, and I, I, and I thank God that I am here so far. We are, we are together in this whole thing so far. We face our challenges together. We, we share our happiness together. We share everything. It's just together, together, together. So, if anybody sees... It looks at someone one day and say, oh, look at you and your husband. People cannot make it. Not the person. You're not my God. Like, really, those ones that are telling you they're so happy, you don't even know how what is happening deep inside. You're just seeing a, a picture of, like, oh, what happiness looks like, but you don't know how it is inside. So, I just feel like I just talk about this whole thing because there's this pressure about marriage in this our society, like, oh, your marriage has to be this. Everybody's painting all oh, sweet, 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 sweet. There's also the bitter part of marriage. That's the truth. There's always, there's not just only sweet. Marriage is not only sweet. It can't just only be sweet. And if there's only sweet, there's a problem that you get diabetes. So, really, it has to be bitter and then sweet at the same time. The truth is that I don't like using my marriage as an example of anything because I did, I dated myself for a very, very long time. For over nine years, have you? <laughs> so imagine the whole of that, how many years, and, and I don't get to understand that person. And then we still married, there's a problem. So we, we have less of all those arguments now, but we had it then when we were dating. When we were dating, it was, it was hot. I'm telling you, people, it was hot. It wasn't, it wasn't all smooth. Every day is like back to back. Thing. My husband is this kind of person that doesn't come. Communication was like a big problem for him. Like me, I want you to call me morning, morning, mid, mid morning, afternoon, mid afternoon, night, midnight. Like I, I, I love that kind of attention. And then I jump someone that <laughs> if he calls you once in a day, like you should celebrate it but that's who he is and then the, everything i tried i was trying so hard to change him you know to just make him be like okay call me 100 times a day it didn't work at the end of the day it's who he is you can't program someone to be something else in some aspects you compromise and say hell this girl has really tried it. okay let me do this but in some ways you can't make someone be who they are not if you push somebody to be who they are not they end up becoming somebody you hate so and then they will not even like who who they become so at the end of the day, I just, I tried then, no? hey, see me then, I was like, you don't, you don't like calling me, you don't like doing this, text message, <laughs> when I told you about my husband and text message, but, see, text message, he doesn't have to, to hold phone like this and start typing love message, he's not, he's not, he's not, he's not watching Indian film, he doesn't even watch Indian film, at least when he will learn the love from, Shay is Indian movie, he will not even watch that one, said, romantic something, tell is boring, so at the end of the day, it's just who he is, and he's still like that today, she we are happily married, at least now you know with time the person starts making efforts okay i have to call every day he goes out to work okay babe how are you doing i'm just checking up for you and that's a lot to me so i take what i can take i don't expect that person to do exactly what i'm doing if i have if i have the power to call you 100 times that's me having the power don't expect the other person to do the same thing for you this is just me this is just my own opinion like i said this is my own opinion you, you all might be different everybody's opinion Obviously, we can't all have the same opinion, but this is this is just my opinion and I felt like I should just share it with everyone and Just hear what you guys have to think about marriage. Do you think that marriage is all about? You know give me I give you oh the way I do for you is the way you must do for me Oh, what is working for this person must work for me. Oh, I'm looking at a perfect picture Oh my god, these people are so happy. Does a perfect family picture mean they're actually happy? Like those are the questions i'm asking like i just want everybody to just let's just talk about it i know because some people will tell you oh naka tell me now what's the secret to your marriage you are living so you people are so happy together you are this you are that if i don't tell you that you just have to let it go you just don't have to always win nobody your husband can always win wife can always win and people tell you bow hey so they will not come and stamp on my head so they will not come and do this like I said, everybody's own is different. So I would love to hear you guys' opinion. I just felt I should just talk about this. Let's just chit chat. I'm going to be at the comment section, you know. Because I love going through comments. I don't mind. I'm not do it immediately, but I love going through comments to hear what people have to say. So please, let's just talk about it. So this is just, I don't know, just me. I don't have a perfect marriage, but I, my marriage is blessed in so many ways. I'm blessed in so many ways. I can't even believe it, begin to explain how blessed I am in my marriage. Like I said, I don't believe that... There's any marriage i'll look at there and say oh these people are perfect yes two people can be perfect together but the marriage itself you know there's some other things that you can see missing or not missing but anyways i'm blabbing too much now but and you guys get the gist of what i'm trying to say so yes i'll see you guys in my comment section so don't, don't forget to like share subscribe and comment all right bye